Okay, in this video, we will go over how to plot a pi, a vertical and horizontal graph. So this is our x value and this is our y value. And we want to first plot a, let's say a vertical graph, a vertical bar graph. So if we write bar parentheses, our x, so capital X comma our y, capital Y parentheses, we hit run, we have a nice bar graph. Now, let's say for whatever reason we want to make our bar graph say blue. So if we do comma, uh, parenthes one parenthesis, you can say uh, B, another one, apostrophe, and you simply hit run, now it's blue. You can do the same thing for red, just, so R, run, it's red. Okay, so now we will do a horizontal bar graph. So let me, let me first clear this up. And in order to do a horizontal bar graph, instead of bar, you write bar H. Like this, bar H. Run. It's a nice horizontal bar graph. And you can still write, you know, if you want blue, do blue. And the one more thing I'm going to show you guys is how to do a pie graph. Um, pie graphs are useful if you want to do like a grade distribution. And so, let's say we have... 40% made A's, 30% made B's, 20% made C's, and 10% made a D. We write pi, you know, our uh, name, so grade, and we hit run. So now if you want to like make a legend or something, you can do, I think, I believe it's, uh, it's insert legend. You can say that uh, data point is going to be an A, B is going to be a, uh, this color, uh, C, and uh, a D. So we have a nice graph like this. So we went over how to uh, plot a pie, a pie graph, a vertical and horizontal bar graph, and that's about it.